friends. Welcome to Reading at Home with Mrs. Huntley. This week, because it's going to be spring break, I'm going to bring you just one story for the week. It's a story with a character that I think you're going to find that you know pretty well. So first, his name is called Peter Cottontail. But if you look close, some people have a different name for him. I wonder what you might call a bunny that hops around with a basket full of eggs. I would also call him the Easter Bunny. So we're gonna read this story today together. But before we do, let's get started. I'll read to you, 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 you'll listen to me, me, me. Books, books, let's open up and see. I'll read to you, 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 you'll listen to me, me, me. Books, books, let's open up and see. So this story today, I checked on the birthday, and this story is actually 26 years old. It was written in 1994 by a person called Amanda Stevens. She's the author. The illustrator of this book is Christopher Sorrento. Here we go. Peter Cottontail. Easter was always the very best day of the year in Green Valley. That was the day Peter Cottontail came to town. Higgledy piggledy, here I am, Peter would always say. Every year, Peter brought Easter baskets filled with bright, beautifully colored eggs and sweet, yummy candies. There was a basket for each of the children. Higgledy piggledy, happy Easter, he would shout as he hopped from house to house. Take a peek at all those little bunnies getting baskets of eggs. On Easter morning, the mommies would parade in their new Easter bonnets and the children would munch on their Easter candy. In Green Valley, every Easter was exactly the same as the one before. Until one year, on the day before Easter. Uh oh, here comes the problem. Wiley Wolf decided there would be no more Easter fun in Green Valley. Those bunnies make such a big deal out of Easter, Wiley grumbled to himself. They sing and they dance and they feast and they never invite me. Well, I'll show them. Peter Cottontail won't be giving away any Easter eggs this year. Then Wiley hid behind a tree and waited for Peter to come hopping by. It wasn't long before Peter Cottontail appeared at the top of the hill. As soon as Wiley spotted the happy rabbit, he let out a loud, ferocious roar. That roar sure scared Peter. He dropped all of his eggs. Quick as a wink, Wiley scooped up the eggs and ran into the forest. On his way, he hid each egg. He, he hid each and every egg. Wiley wanted to make sure no one could find them. The next morning, when the children awoke, there were no colored eggs anywhere. There were no jelly beans. There wasn't a chocolate bunny to be found. Oh dear, cried the littlest bunny. Peter Cottontail has forgotten all about Easter. Of course, Peter Cottontail had not forgotten about Easter at all. He was out searching for his missing Easter eggs. This is higgledy piggledy horrible, Peter said sadly to himself as he hopped along. Oh, do you see some of the eggs that are hiding? Just then, Peter heard somebody singing in a rough, gruff voice. I've got the eggs so folks won't be full of laughs and cheer. Without the sweets and yummy treats, there'll be no Easter this year. So that's it, Peter said to himself. Wiley doesn't have the Easter spirit. Well, I can fix that. Or my name isn't Peter Cottontail, which it higgledy piggledy most certainly is. Peter hopped back to Green Valley and told everyone what he had discovered. Wily Wolf has stolen all of our eggs, Peter said. But that does not stop us from having an Easter party. 
we can still sing songs and dance and feast on delicious foods. As the other bunnies hopped off to start the party, the littlest bunny said, I knew Peter Cottontail could never forget about Easter. Peter did not go with the other rabbits. Instead, he hurried off in search of Wily Wolf. That was a very brave thing to do, especially since wolves are not usually very nice to rabbits. When Peter arrived at Wiley's house, he called, Wiley Wolf, come out here. There's Wiley's house. Wiley came out with a big smile on his face. What are you doing here? He asked Peter. I thought you would be off having a big Easter party, but I see you have no Easter eggs. I guess that means Easter is canceled. Not at all, Wiley, Peter said. But it would be a nice Easter for everyone if you would just give me back the eggs that you stole. There are no eggs here, Wiley grinned. See for yourself. Peter looked around him and all he saw was an empty basket. Peter couldn't understand how that could be. Just then, the littlest bunny came hopping up behind Peter. Hey, Peter, look what I found. And in his paw was a beautiful Easter egg. Me too, I found one too, shouted another bunny. It was hidden under that rock over there. So that's what you did with the eggs, Peter said to Wiley. Well, since you hid the eggs, you can help us find them. Come on, come on everyone, let's hunt for Easter eggs. So Wiley joined the Easter egg hunt and he had a very good time. I like Easter, Wiley smiled. And I love Easter egg hunts. This is the best Easter I've ever had. And all the animals in Green Valley agreed. In fact, Peter Cottontail decided to hold an Easter egg hunt every single year. Higgledy Piggledy, hooray! Everyone cheered. There are 76 Easter eggs on the pages of this book. Can you find them all? In order to find all the eggs in this book, you'll have to read and listen to the story one more time. If you try, your family might have to pause the screens as you see the pages. 76 eggs are what's in this story from cover to cover. All right, you have a fantastic week of spring break and I will see you next week right here in my home reading some stories. All right, have a great week. Bye friends.